Hi everyone, this is Margaret Manning with Boomerly. If you were to believe everything that you read in your 50s, you would think that there's a just a general progression from uh, forgetfulness to dementia to death. That's it, a downward spiral. And it's really not true. Um, there's actually some argument that the brain gets better with age, but I'll talk to you about that in a moment. In terms of dementia, it's actually a fact that people in their 70s, from 71 to 79, only 5% have a dementia-related illness. And that does go up like when you're in your 80s to about 20, 25%. But of course, that means that three quarters, 75% do not have any dementia or Alzheimer's uh, disease. So I think it's important to keep that in perspective. Of course, there's been a lot of um, uh, you know, talk about these Alzheimer's and forgetfulness and it is, is obviously a valid field for research and, um, and for study because we do want to help as many people as possible to not suffer from these things. But it really is not the downward spiral that you might um, believe you know, if you read everything that was uh, printed. So I think it's important to say, you know, yes to dementia research, but uh, also yes to doing things that you can help yourself to stay strong and healthy and to keep your brain active. And in fact, there's a Harvard uh, research that we mentioned in uh, the website article that uh, talks about how in fact the brain of an older person gets more efficient that you actually are using both sides of the brain in a more efficient way and that certain um, capabilities to do with uh, skills, um, motor skills and memory are actually um, improved as you get older. And I think part of this um, probably has got to do with experience, that we've trained our brain to deal with situations in an efficient way and those, those pathways are actually established. But the point is, is that there's been a lot of research to show that the brain is actually quite efficient as it gets older. Older, and that we don't have to, you know, sort of succumb to that uh, belief that uh, we're, you know, we're doomed to forgetfulness and dementia. Um, you know, I think it's just maybe too that we get a bit smarter as we get older. We're kind of grown up and our brains know this and we just simplify processes and... <laughs> I don't know, but I think the most important thing to remember is there's plenty that you can do to keep your brain active and healthy in your 50s and beyond. And I would love to know, um, you know what you feel about this. I mean, are you worried about dementia and Alzheimer's? Is it something that's on your mind? Or do you think that you know the brain is just as active and, and um, it can be as strong in your 50s and 60s as, you know, as a younger person? I'd love your thoughts on this. If you go to the website article, you'll see the research that I referred to, the Harvard study, and also the percentages um, to do with dementia in the 70s and 80s. Um, I think it's, it's really important to have the facts, so I want you to you know, do that research for yourself too. So um, please leave your comments in the section below the article, and let's start a conversation. I think if it's on your mind, it will be really useful to get other points of view, and uh, I look forward to reading your comments and joining in the conversation myself. Thanks so much everyone.